Neatly fold tissue paper and place item in the box. Roll out your wrapping paper and mark where you need to cut. For most boxes, a second cut will be needed. Mark where you need to cut. Smooth the paper gently around the box. Make a small fold along the cut edge of the paper. This will cover up any unevenness or jagged cuts and look nice and neat. Three pieces of tape are plenty. Push in ends and crease. Push down top, fold over end and tape up bottom. Two pieces. Press the top in, then crease the corners in at a 45 degree angle. Gently fold everything around the edge of the package. Fold the rough end under and tape. Place the item to be wrapped in tissue. Grab two other pieces of tissue in the center. Pull the points and edges up and away to make a fluffy flower-like arrangement. Stuff one on each side of the item in the bag. Done. For a small bow, wrap the ribbon around your fingers three times. Snip notches in the middle of the loops. Cut a length of wire and wrap around the center using the notches to gather the bow. When fluffing out the bow, twist each loop around. The notches will catch and help the loops stay in position. When making bows, the type of bow you can make may depend on the kind of ribbon you have. Wired ribbon will make a much larger, sturdier bow like this one which starts with four loops about seven inches long. This ribbon is three inches wide. When you snip it, cut in about one half to three quarters of an inch on the diagonal. The reason is most ribbon is woven like fabric and you don't want it to tear when you tie or wire it tightly. For this bow, I'm using a long piece of complementary ribbon to secure the center instead of the wire used in the last example. This is a little trickier to do without someone to assist you with the knot tying process. Once you fluff out this bow, you will see that it stays in place very well because of the wire in the edges of the ribbon. This last bow is a layered bow. It starts with two loops of one size and adds a single smaller loop on top. When you snip, do not snip the top layer of the smaller loop. Use either wire or ribbon to secure these three. Then, add two streamer ribbons to the back. If you use ribbon to secure the loops, try a contrasting color and add those to the streamers. When I attach this bow to the gift bag later, I use two narrow lengths of purple ribbon to tie it to the handle. These sparkly purple streamers hang down with the yellow and can be seen in the final shot of this video. Only your imagination limits the possibilities of layered bows. Use the same or a complementary ribbon to wrap around your package. Do not cut and tape the ribbon. This is tacky. If you can't ribbon wrap your package, it is better to just tape your bow. 
here i am showing using the tails of the ribbon to make this bow a little larger by tying a regular tie your shoes knot on top of the bow very easy to do with this soft ribbon wire ribbon is less flexible and harder to tie so choosing to tie the bow on with a complementary ribbon is often wise this thin yellow ribbon makes for attractive curling accents once everything is in place. Traditional curling ribbon that can be zipped into tight spirals with the edge of a scissors is also a great choice.